Welcome to the second AnyLogic contest hosted by Norjax Consulting. The problem of this challenge is a very typical one that we can find in many operations sites in the world. And AnyLogic doesn't have the obvious blocks that you can use in order to solve this problem. So you have to use your own creativity and AnyLogic skills to solve the problem. So it goes as follows. You have different types of operators. You also have different types of forklifts and you have different types of products. Each operator type is able to drive a subset of the forklifts available. For example, here the guys in orange maybe can drive the red forklift while the guys in black can drive this forklift and these two forklifts. So each operator has different skills. Also, each forklift is able to transport certain types of products. For example, the ones in yellow might be able to transport the pallets. The one here is able to transport this one. And the one in red is able to transport everything. Okay, so let's imagine a pallet arrives. And this pallet can be taken only by the red forklift and the red forklift can only be dri driven by the guys in black. So what do we do? We select one of the guys in black and he walks toward the forklift. Now he will drive the forklift towards this pallet and will take the pallet to an arbitrary location. Then the pallet is gone. We don't care anymore about the pallet. But when the forklift is driving home, a new product arrives. And what to do now depends on many different conditions. If the red forklift can take this new product, then this guy should go back to pick up this product. If the red forklift cannot take the product, you need to see if there's another forklift available that can take the product. And if there's another operator available that can drive a forklift that can take the product. There are many, many different border cases and different situations that you need to take into consideration. But this is not doing artificial intelligence, not at all. Instead, it's just about modeling with common sense. What would the operators do in this situation if they have perfect communication with each other and perfect information on what is available in the system. Okay, so to solve the problem, you can use the following database structure. So you have different type of products. In here, you have three products, small, medium, and big, that have a certain arrival rate. Then you have three types of forklifts. So each forklift has a certain number that are available and these are the product IDs that it can take. For example, the electric one can take small and medium. The manual can only take small and the heavy can take medium and big because it's two and three. And then you have the operators. In this case, you have three operator types, senior, junior, and external. Two of each one are available. And the senior can take forklifts with ID one and three. So electric and heavy. The junior can only use this number two, manual, and the external can use only number three, heavy. We need to be able to modify this database as much as we want, putting as many operator types as we want, as many forklift types as we want, and as many product types as we want. The reward is up to $500. And if you want to do a paid internship at Norges Consulting, this competition is an opportunity to show your interest and skills. If you want more details, I will put this same link in the description and you will have just to click it and read all the details of the challenge, the rewards and other things. Good luck.